let's start off right at the beginning. I had no idea. I'm still a buzz at my comedy set. I mean, I nailed it. <laughs> I gave these people a memory that they were, they were always cherished. Killed it. Some people uh, yeah. think that doing prop comedy, pulling right. stuff out of a trunk, uh, well, mm. might be run the risk of being a little uh, hacky or sure. che cheesy. Do you know what I'm saying? Where you were all worried about doing prop comedy, you know, and being compared to people like a Carrot Top or something like that. Who's Carrot Top? I'm not familiar. <laughs> Carrot Top's a very famous comedian who uses... Oh, who does uh, property comedy. Yes, prop comedy. <laughs> We don't call it property comedy, we call it prop comedy, and you take it out of a trunk and... Would, why would you shorten property to prop? Uh, Just I, call it property comedy. Uh, okay, all right. Because that was a trunk full of my personal effects. Okay. And I your, turned it into comedy gold. Your property, if you will. I keep a small mouse in a tiny house that I call a pad. Yeah. A house is a pad, so, so mouse... So it's a mouse pad. It's a mouse pad. And when I saw that, I was like, write it down, Put it in the trunk for your property comedy. Okay. <laughs> I just happen to have a Mercedes-Benz steering wheel attached to a toilet seat in my garage. And uh, I was looking at it for like two years. And I'm like, this has got to be a joke in here. <laughs> and... You see, you already have it. The... And this has <laughs> got to be. Steering wheel was already yeah. attached. Yeah. Don't throw it out. Don't throw it out, Ronnie. Yeah. yeah. And then, bing! Bing, yeah. We Christ nailed it. Christmas yeah. morning. This Christmas morning. So, do you... Came to me. Do you while I was sitting on the toilet. Oh, really? Oh, yes. okay. On that toilet. Uh, yeah, okay, well... That toilet seat. Okay, all right. Didn't need to know it was an actual toilet seat that you used, but I guess that's true. So, you're, you're out there doing comedy now. You're I'm regular... out there now doing comedy for the last three weeks. Yeah. And uh, this was my best show by far. Yes, I thought I, so. I, I have thought... been thrown out of a lot of places. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Such a supportive, lovely crowd. Have you ever had a crowd that wasn't that supportive to your comedy? Uh, well, out of the 20 shows I've done, 17 have not been supportive. Wait a minute. 17, 17 out of 20? 17 have been 17 miserable. 17 shows have been miserable. I was at a place called the San Juan Depot down in San Juan Capistrano, and the crowd literally walked out. Really? Does uh, anyone ever get violent at your shows? Uh, they Violent with each other. I yeah. drove them to such... They hated my comedy so much they started beating each other. Really? <laughs> I know. You can't explain it. So for but you... But as, as Don Rickles once said, either leave him laughing or leave him fighting. I don't... I knew Don Rickles' uh, comedy well. I don't believe he ever said that. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Don and Elaine May. Have you listened to the records? The, no. It's Mike Nichols and Elaine May. It's Mike Nichols and Elaine May and Don Rickles has nothing. And Don Rickles. No. Don Rickles. Mike Nichols and Elaine May. Okay. <laughs> Back together again. All right. I don't think, I don't think for someone who's doing comedy, uh, you don't seem to know a lot about... Oh, I'm a student of the game. We're all students. We, uh, every day you learn. If you don't, you die. <laughs> okay. So... Okay. You, yeah. Sorry. Okay. I guess. I guess. No, I'm sorry. No. You should be sorry. Well, I am sorry. Good. I apologize. Okay. Let's put that behind us. <clears throat> okay. Every day you got to learn something. Yeah. I try to learn one new thing a day. Oh, what did you learn today? How to peel a cucumber. <laughs> I was in my kitchen this morning. I was in my one I thought I wanted to make a cucumber sandwich, and I did not know how to peel a cucumber. So, I went on my computer, um, my old Commodore uh, 64, and. Uh, <laughs> Typed in, peel a cucumber. So, I got a small... I got a small wood axe. I got a wood axe. Wood axe? Took it in the garage, I put it into a vise. What? And I cleaved the cucumber. Oh. Into four quadrants. Okay. What website was this? And Did then you... I used uh, tweezers. Okay. And a little bit of, uh, about 120 grade sandpaper, and I sanded down the skin. <laughs> Gently sounded down the skin, and then I dipped them very carefully in ammonium chloride, a solution of ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride! And motor oil, and it peeled the skin off. Do you have a, a vegetable peeler in your kitchen? That's what I need to get, is a yeah. vegetable peeler. Yeah. No, I don't, obviously. Well, you should get one. Tomorrow, that will be the thing I learn tomorrow. <laughs> Where to buy a vegetable peeler? 
We gotta learn one new thing a day. One new thing a day. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm thrilled that you've joined us in the comedy community. Uh, we comedians uh, welcome you. Are you a comedian? <laughs> right. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, relax. Everyone Take relax. Take it easy. He's just asking Everything the question. Is no, but you, or, or do you consider yourself more a talk show host? Uh, I, I think of myself as a, you know, uh, an affable chap who right? leans into in the comedy territory. What would you say, Andy? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, OK. <laughs> And I, gotta, I gotta live with him. Yeah. He's, you're agnostic. I yeah. am. Yes. All right. I don't know what that word means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uses it well, though. Yeah, very nicely.